Hello, Keith Ruck here at VengeMachinery.org. Well guys, in the last episode, we took the saddle off of my Monarch 16 inch lathe and we did some measuring on here to kind of see where we were at. We've already been doing some scraping on this, but we still got a ways to go. And I wanted to share with you guys some of the scraping on how we uh, work on this, uh, this uh, saddle to get everything uh, scraped in so it's like it needs to be. So if you didn't watch the last video or you need just an update a reminder of where we're at on this, we've already come in here and scraped these two flats. And um, when we measured them over there, they're in pretty good shape. Now, one thing that I know is that um, this flat on this end, uh, we kind of, I kind of quit on it at a certain point because I just wanted to kind of see where we were. But there were a few little holes in here. Uh, when I say holes, just low spots. Very small, probably insignificant. Uh, but I do want to kind of go back over this uh, side over here a couple more times just to kind of get everything nice and flat. I didn't want to take too much metal off of this one until I saw how we were compared to the other side here. And I think we're going to be fine there. So I'm probably going to start by doing a couple passes over here and try to get some of those holes out of this side. Now, um, we also worked on this dovetail on this side, so the inside, uh, this top part in here. And um, according to the uh, uh, straight edge, it was bluing up from one end to the other um, pretty well when we, when we stopped. Uh, but when we came in here and, and measured the distance across here, um, there's about a two thousandths, it's about two thousandths wider here than it is on the end. So zero, 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 one, two, one, zero. That's thousandths of an inch. Now we haven't worked on this side at all. So that two thousandths very well may, may be just a high spot over here. But I want to check this again uh, because the straight edge we were using before was only about this long. Uh, and we were having to kind of spot it in two different places. I've got my longer straight edge back now. I didn't have it here when we were doing that. I had sent it off to a friend of mine. So I want to kind of get in here and blue this surface up with my longer straight edge just to make sure that we don't have a little hump on this side. I don't think that's the case, but we're going to check that out. If there is any problem in here, we're going to scrape that out. We'll remeasure uh, this side, and then we're going to come in here and start scraping the dovetail on this side and get it. Now, this is probably the most critical thing. We need for these measurements to be exactly the same all the way down because that, that cross slide is going to be sliding on this. And if it gets wide right here, that means it's going to be t real tight coming through here. And then it gets out here, it's going to be a little bit loose. So we want to make sure that that's really good. So i tell you what, I'm going to blue this side up over here and go through the process. We'll do a couple of rounds of scraping on it and show you that. All right, so first thing we want to do is just make sure that this is clean. I'll take a brush. Um, and I'll tell you what, I'm just going to go ahead real quickly and just uh, hit it with a stone. Uh, the purpose here is just to, if there's any burrs in there, we want to knock off those, those really, really high points. I'm not trying to stone this to make it flat. Uh, I'm just making sure we don't have any burrs in there. Uh, that will give me a false reading when I come in here next with the uh, um, uh, uh, blue. Um, I had some people comment saying, hey, how come you got a mustard bottle in your shop? Well, this isn't a mustard bottle. This is actually some canode dye. This is a yellow dye. And uh, what I do is just put a little bit of that on a, on a paper towel here. And I'm going to come in here and put a little thin layer of that on there before we blew it. And the purpose of this is just to kind of take the glare off. It, it, you really, it's, it's hard to see it unless you compare it next to something else. But it kind of just takes that, that glare off. It helps you see the blue a little bit better. It also gives a little contrast for the blue. And another thing that's nice about this is now when I come in here and I'm scraping, uh, my scrape marks that I put in here on this pass, you can kind of see them from the lighter sheen that's up underneath it. So you can kind of see where you've already scraped. So we actually will just wipe that over the whole surface. Now uh, let's go get our straight edge ready and we'll bring it over here and we'll blue this up. So I've got my 18 inch straight edge here. This has already been scraped flat and I checked it before we got started. 
just to make sure that uh, everything was good on it, and it is. So this is a flat surface, and we've just, we double check it up against the, the surface plate. And I've already been using this a little bit, so I've, it's already got some blue on here. Uh, but I just got a little uh, foam roller here that has some of those. It's the same dye that we were using before with the yellow, but this is a blue, it's canode blue. And we'll just make sure we have some on here. We're not trying to get a super thick layer. You want to be able to see through this and see the, see the uh, scrape marks on the, the straight edge. Uh, we just want a thin layer. But now this is ready to go over here and uh, we're going to use this to spot up our part over there and use this as our reference surface. So back over here at the saddle now I'm going to come in with my straight edge blued up and uh, we're going to go right back into that back of that dovetail and drop this down and just kind of move it back and forth. And yes, this straight edge is, does, still doesn't quite come to the very ends, but it's a lot longer than the one we were using before. And I'm just going to kind of slide it back and forth in here. And what I'm doing right now is uh, transferring the blue from the bottom of the, the straight edge to the high spots uh, on the part up underneath. Another thing I want to do is I want to hinge my straight edge, so I'm just going to kind of move it. It's hinging about here. And somewhere along in here. So that's telling me it's pretty flat. Uh, if it's hinging in the middle, it tells you there's a high spot there. If it's hinging on the ends, it tells you you have high spots there. If, it's, if it hinges about a third of the way on each end, that tells you it's pretty flat across there. I'm going to pull that off and I'm going to zoom you in there and show you the markup. So hopefully you'll be able to see on here the little places where the blue has um, transferred over here. So, um, and that's the very highest of the highs across here. Now keep in mind, this is a scraped surface. Um, you know, these spots where there aren't any blue, chances are, I mean, we could come in here and actually measure it if we really wanted to, but we've been scraping on this for a while. These uh, little areas in between here, we're probably talking maybe a couple of ten thousandths of an inch lower. Uh, but the blue spots, of course, are the very highest areas in there. So uh, my concern here, and it actually looks a little bit better than what I remember, but, you know, there is a little spot about here where we're just missing some contact. And here, uh, you know, it's, it's not too bad at all. In fact, it's probably fine the way it is. But what I want to do is come in here, and we're just going to, hit all these high spots with the scraper. We're going to try to avoid anything but the, the high spots and just scrape the blue off. And uh, we'll come back and do this again. And uh, hopefully over time, you're able to be able to get a little bit more contact points in here, get them closer together and um, uh, go from there. This actually looks not too bad. It's not really perfect, but it's, uh, this is coming in real nice. So let me get my scraper out and uh, we'll start scraping. So what I'm using here, of course, is my Biax scraper. I have a little small, narrow blade on here. The top of it is ground down so that I can kind of get back into that, that dovetail corner. So normally these are kind of two-sided. This, this cutter here has been modified, so it's only one-sided. Um, and I've got a short stroke on here because we're, we're making finishing passes now. And uh, I'm gonna come in here and we're just gonna kind of go down and hit the, hit the blue. When I'm scraping, I try to work in kind of 45 degree angles across here. And I'll come one time in this direction, then the next time I'll come and I'll work in this direction. I'm making a crisscross pattern. I'm constantly going back and forth, back and forth. And the idea here is, is that this little scrape mark that I put in here this way, the next time I'll come across it and I'll kind of break that up. And you're making those, those high points a little bit lower. And if you have a big high spot, you're, you're making it into smaller high spots. So uh, anyway, we got that pass done. Um, brush that out because we did remove metal in there. You have cast iron down in there. I'm gonna just take a little bit of Windex and uh, we're gonna wipe this. That'll get all that dye out of there. 
both the blue and the yellow that we put in. Um, come back in with my my stone now and again I'm not trying to hone this thing flat I'm just trying to knock off any burrs that were raised up and we're ready now to put some more yellow back in here so that we can come back in with our straight edge and see where we're at so let me get this going bring our straight edge back in First thing I want to do is kind of hinge it. It's hinging about here. Get that flat. It looks like it's hinging about in, about in the thirds where we want to be. Blew it up. And it looks good. Um, Still got a little bit of a low spot in here, a little bit of a low spot in here, maybe right in here and on the end. So a couple more passes. Hopefully we'll have this knocked out. Uh, I won't show any more here. I may bring you back once I do a few more and kind of show you what the spot's up looking like. That's the process. It's just rinse and repeat over and over and over. Uh, do this process until you get it uh, to where you want it. All right, guys, I have made several more passes through here, and hopefully you can see this with the shadows on there. Uh, we'll just try to sweep down through here, but uh, you can see I've got pretty good contact going all the way down. Um, that light's kind of blowing it out a little bit, but uh, anyway, you can kind of see what we're going after here. I'm pretty happy with that. We're going to go with that. Um, I'm going to set this up now. We're going to start working on the uh, on the dovetail. Well, working on the dovetails is a little bit more complicated than uh, just working on a regular flat part because you got to be able to get in there to work on it. And obviously we don't want to be standing on our heads upside down and at some weird angle. So the idea here is to get the surface that you're going to be scraping as close to, you know, flat as you can. It doesn't have to be perfectly flat, but this is a nice comfortable angle that I think I can come in here with the, the, the power scraper and uh, work. Uh, on this surface here. We're not working on this back surface. We're working on what is now the top surface where we have it oriented. So uh, anyway, just kind of show you, we just built some blocking here. Uh, just literally screwed this stuff down to the table. And uh, you know, it, it, makes, it makes it where it's holding, it's sturdy enough that we can come over that power scraper now and uh, do this uh, fairly easily. So let's uh, get this surface blued up and kind of see where we're at and make a decision on whether we need to take a little bit more off of this side or just flip it over and start scraping on the other side. Probably the latter, but I want to check it out with this other straight edge before we, we make a call. All right, just like before, we'll start by just cleaning this up. I'm going to take my stone and uh, Slightly hit that and make sure we don't have anything in there. And then we'll um, put a little yellow in it. Help us see what's going on. A little bit too much yellow in there. Bring our straight edge. This time I actually have the dovetail side blued up in here. Uh, and we will come in and we will bring that down and go back and forth and blew it up and see where we're at. So guys, what I'm looking at here, probably more so than the bluing is, is I think there could possibly be a high spot somewhere along in here. So what I want to do is I want to get this in here and hinge it. And it's hinging about a third on this end. It's hard to tell. And it's hinging about right in here. So that tells me that I'm, I'm flat across here. And I look at my blue, it's, it's hard to get the camera here to see it, but it looks pretty good. So I'm happy with how this side looks. It's telling me that my high spot is on the other side, which is what I kind of expected. So we're just going to flip this thing over and uh, we're going to start on the other side. So this side has not been scraped at all. It's just got that... Uh, surface in there where we actually cut it on the milling machine um, and according to my measurements we're about two thousandths high it's zero 
one thousandths, two thousandths, one thousandths, and then back to zero down here. So we got a little bit of a hump right in here. So what I want to do is bring my straight edge over here and put it in here. And we are going to hinge this thing. And if you look, it's hinging right here. And that is pretty much right on top of where I measured 2000 high. So um, that tells me what I need to start doing on this thing is that um, I'm going to probably come in here and we're going to start scraping just this area in here and try to bring that down and we'll come back in and until we uh, start getting blue all the way across this. So let me get my scraper out. I think I'm going to sharpen my blade and we will get started in here. All right, so I'm going to make some notes here. I know that this was kind of my high spot. So I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of draw some lines in here. That's going to be my first zone. That's probably my highest. And then we're going to kind of go out from there. So what I want to do is I want to concentrate in here and then eventually start kind of going out to these lines. And then, you know, we'll probably have to ease on out from there. So what I'm going to do is we're, we're not doing finishing passes here. We know we got two thousandths to take out of there. Two thousandths is a mile uh, when you're scraping. You're usually only going to be cutting a couple of ten thousandths per pass. So we're probably looking at, I don't know, uh, maybe 10 passes on here just to get this thing down, maybe even more than that, depending on how much we're cutting. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to rough this high spot area here, um, probably come in here with a circle pattern and just try to get in there and take a bunch of that off. We'll blue it up and um, go from there. So come in here with our scraper and again, I'm just hogging metal off. Make sure we get all the way back there in the back. <laughs> all right. Now I'm going to stone that. And you can feel, you feel the burrs on it at first there. Let me get my straight edge now. Come over here and see what we got. I'm not so much bluing right now as I am just looking for that high spot. And make sure I'm getting a good. All right, so it's showing me now that my high spot has moved down a little bit. It's more right in this area. So we'll probably take another pass there. Still showing a high spot kind of in that same general area. I'm going to try to transfer a little bit of blue this time and just kind of see what we see. And I'm seeing a high spot kind of right here. There's a little glob of blue right here at this little uh, oil groove. And got a little bit back there in the back over here. So anyway, that kind of gives me some areas to target in on. So I've been working on this a little bit off and on, come out here in the evening, work for 20, 30 minutes on the time when I have some spare time, and we're slowly making progress. So I was gonna kind of give you an idea of where we're at. I'm gonna bring my straight edge in here and we're gonna blue this up. And We can see we've got pretty good contact from about here to here. I'm still dropping off a little bit on the end. I got a little bit of touching back here in the back. And then it kind of picks back up down here on this end. So um, I'm still kind of concentrating down here. I think what's happening is um, we're kind of teeter-tottering in this area. This blue down here on the end is kind of where my straight edge is. It's just got a hit down there. but. This is still a high spot in here, so we're still kind of just focusing in here, knocking this down a little bit lower. And I'm starting to pick up just a little bit of blue back here in the back. So we're looks like we're right on the verge of kind of getting this thing to come in. But we're going to get in here with our scraper. 
and uh, continue on. So I've been working on this about 45 minutes since uh, I showed you that last blue and where we still had a good bit down here. And, and as it stands right now, I'm getting pretty good contact all the way across this. Um, you know, it's still probably not just absolutely perfect, but I think what I'm going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and pull this off and I'm going to get those measurements of the width between the dovetails and see where I'm at. Uh, because if it's a little bit wide in one area or the other, that kind of tells me where I need to focus on to finish this thing up. And quite honestly, if it measures fine, I'm happy with this the way it is. Uh, you know, we probably could work in here and get a little bit better contact in here, but uh, this, is, this is not bad. So anyway, let's, uh, let's set it up over here and uh, we'll get some measurements and see what the width looks like. All right, guys, this is gonna be the moment of truth. So I know from the bluing on my straight edges that both sides of the dovetail are flat. Uh, this surface is flat. We're getting good contact from one end to the other. Okay, what I need to know is are they, in the, are they parallel to one another? And uh, when we did this last time, I think we had about, was it two thousandths of a rise kind of in this area if I remember right. Uh, we scraped that, that we knew when we started scraping that was high. So um, anyway, we're going to check this out. I don't know what to expect. So just like before, I've got two gauge pins. We're going to come in here under the dovetails and we're just going to take a micrometer and we'll go down this thing and, uh, and measure them. So, all right, there we go. That feels good. So that's uh, five and then we're 25 and then we're just a half a thou over it. I'm gonna just estimate these to the half thousandth. Um, uh, I'm not gonna try to read it to the 10 thousandth of an inch, but that's close to the half thousandth mark there. So 525 and a half. And uh, I guess I should take a Sharpie and mark that. We'll say uh, 525.5. So that's 525 thousandths and a half. And we're just going to go down through here. Um, I don't know what to expect. All right, that's 525 and a half. That's good. So my high spot was kind of right in here before. So, uh, you know, if I almost expect it to kind of drop off as we go to the back but we'll see what happens. Five twenty-five and a half. Probably maybe just a tenth or two over, but we're gonna to go to the estimate to the half. That's good. We're gonna be getting the same measurement all the way so far. All right, I expect it to start dropping off back here. Let's see what really happens. All right, 525 and a half, just a little over a half again, but it's closer to a half than a whole. Keep on going, this is looking good. 525 and a half, hey. Am I going to get lucky? Let's go down here. Five twenty five and a half. One more to go. I'm keeping my fingers crossed, man. I might, this would be awesome if this comes in just right. Five twenty-five and a half. And uh, this one, I will say, is a little bit on the low side. Uh, but um, still closer to a half than the other. So just looking at 
that where that micrometer was kind of going on there. I'm going to say these are parallel to probably within three or four ten thousandths of an inch. Um, I'm, I'm extremely happy with that. That is awesome. Wow. <laughs> uh, again, I guess, I don't know if that was skill or luck, uh, but whichever one it is, I'll take it. So anyway, I think we're through scraping these dovetails. That's awesome. Well, there you go, guys. Some more scraping. The dovetails are parallel. The dovetails are flat. Uh, these surfaces are flat, and they are also in the same plane with one another. We showed that previously. So uh, I think we're ready now to get our dovetail in alignment uh, with the machine. So we know from before that this whole, the parallelism here, the perpendicularity is, is tilted in about, I think it was eight, nine thousandths. Uh, that was before we did the scraping. So uh, the next step is gonna be straightening that out. We're gonna do that in another video. We'll come back in here, we'll recheck this. And uh, we're gonna work on that alignment, that twisting alignment by scraping out the uh, turkite up underneath the ways. And at the same time, we've gotta get good contact uh, on those surfaces. Once that's done, I think we'll have the saddle uh, pretty much scraped in and we can start working on the cross slide, uh, getting it uh, fit to the newly scraped and newly surfaced uh, uh, parts here. So making progress, <laughs> glad to do that. And uh, we're gonna continue working on uh, this Monarch rebuild as time permits. So thanks a lot guys for watching. As always, uh, leave me a thumbs up if you like what you see. Uh, leave me some comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.